guys. I'm so sick. I like this weather change is not it. But anyways. Yeah, it's officially fall in New York and you know fall in New York is literally just winter Like it literally went from being like 80 degrees one week and then it's like 40 degrees the next week And it's literally like snowing and it's like what the fuck is going on? So I got so sick because my body does not react well to change mentally and physically like I don't do well with change To cheer myself up. I decided that I'm gonna hang out with my friends tomorrow And we're gonna take pictures for my Instagram because I don't know about you guys But that's super fun for me and allows me to like go out and be creative and like get dressed up get cute you know hang out with my friends and things like that so that's what we're doing today we're gonna do a get ready with me to take you pictures so you guys can see my whole like process or whatever so we're gonna do a wig install a makeup look I'll show you guys my outfits and stuff Also, I'm so sorry that the lighting is kind of weird the weather's really bad right now it's like really rainy and stuff but the show must go on so we're going to be doing a blonde wig today and this is the brand Junoda hair let's do a quick unboxing they sent me a hairbrush and this is their packaging right here so when you first open this is what the hair looks like and they sent me a few goodies as well so let's open a little like goodie bag this is what it looks like Ooh, okay they sent me some lashes they sent me this cute little hair clip it says junota on it a wig cap never have enough of those a scarf it says junota as well and a little edge brush which i literally have so many edge brushes also guys ignore my nails i'm going to be doing some press-ons later on in this video because like girl i've just been down bad i've just been feeling ugly like it's time to get cute you know it's time to get it together so right now i'm just going to start with this wig install okay guys so you know the drill by now we're gonna take our hair down and we're gonna like split it part it down the middle into two sections so i, I like to have like a clean part and we're just gonna tie it up and i'm gonna take my jamaican black castor oil which i feel like has helped my hair grow so much and it helps my hair be like soft and stuff so i like to apply that to the scalp and then rub it in and then i also apply it like to the ends just so my hair is nice and moisturized while i have it up in the wig you know so just brush that through and then i'm going to take my gel on a little edge brush and then you know just like uh what's it called like brush my edges back and now we're gonna start braiding so i just french braid my hair all the way back and i try to do it as tightly as possible just so there's like you know no black hair poking out especially since we're doing like a blonde wig you know like that's a dead giveaway so yeah now i'm doing the same thing on the other side with the castor oil rubbing it in you know putting it on the ends and then just brushing it through then once again we're going to go in with the hair gel pushing our edges back and then we're going to french braid that side as well so just braid 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 all the way down keeping it tight and then we're going to tie it off with a little tiny rubber band so next thing we need is got to be ultra glued spray i just like to spray the edges one more time just to make sure they're not gonna budge because I, I noticed like my edges just be everywhere like my little baby hair is they love to be in the way so we're trying to get them out the way so i'm gonna to pin my braids up with some bobby pins and yeah they be looking like little horns it's pretty funny but now we're gonna do our wig cap so i just do the wig cap method or i think it's like the bald cap method something like that but i'm going to take the got to be sprayed again and just spray the edges like um around the hairline you know so i'm gonna take the blow dryer just to sp speed up the process so like the hairspray could dry faster and we're gonna take another layer of hairspray just to make sure this wig cap is not gonna budge because ugh, it's the worst when your wig cap starts peeling back like girl it's a mess so we want to make sure it's not gonna budge so now we're gonna cut the excess wig cap off and you just want to pull it back a little tiny bit not too much just so it gets as close to the hairline as possible and it's not like on your face or anything so now i'm just gonna trim all those edges off and you know cut around the ears and stuff like so so now we're gonna take our ghost bond platinum glue and this is wig glue but i really only use it for the wig cap um just because like i said you don't want this to budge anywhere and i feel like this is what really gets it to look like 
melted and like it looks like scalp you know so it is a bob and it's what she looks like it's giving rock star vibes so let me give you guys the details real quick it is 14 inches hair density 150 percent and 13 by 4 for the cap so let me show you guys the inside so it does have a band on the inside we have the clips so we have one two three four clips inside this one looks like this is what the lace looks like let me just give you guys a close-up of the lace okay yes per this is what it looks like so let's go ahead and lay this baby down okay so next thing we're gonna do is try the wig on make sure it's lined up right and then i'm gonna tie it back just to make sure all the hair is like not in the way and stuff so now we're gonna start the whole like gluing down process but i don't use glue i just use the got to be ultra glue spray because it actually gives it like a really good hold without being super like messy and like all over the place so i just like put a little layer of that then i put my wig band on and you want to leave it for like at least 10 minutes ish to make sure it's like dried and fully stuck on there so while i have the wig band on i'm just going to fix up the hair straighten it a bit and you know just like make sure it's laid so you want to take your time straightening it to make sure it's really like flat really laid you know i'm looking pretty so i'm gonna take the wig band off and just go in with my scissors and cut the excess lace off so you want to cut once again as close to the hairline as you can and around the ears around the sideburns and everything like that i just wanted to do another layer of the got to be spray just to make sure it's going to stay put and not budge so i'm going to take my wax stick and just go around the um what's it called like the roots of the wig just to make sure it's really like as flat as it possibly can be so that's what i'm doing here you want to go around the top and just go in with your hot comb so this is what's gonna get the roots really like laid out so i'm going to do my makeup i might just watch a video while i do my makeup <laughs> and do like a voiceover after so don't hate me guys i'm just so down bad right now like yeah, so I'm about to do my makeup real quick. Then we'll do our nails. Okay, so I think um, my brother is coming in a few hours. I was going to hang out with my friend Jen. And this bitch is also sick. So she's like, girl, I'm staying home. So I'm like, no. But it's okay. Like I feel, I feel like I feel better today than I did yesterday. But still, like, I'm down bad. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, um, with the wig install and everything, I just added some like baby hairs, um, like the sideburns and stuff. I have to fix it a little bit, but I want to do my makeup first and then like I'll go back in and like, you know, make it cuter. So yeah, like I said, I was down bad, so I ended up making myself a cup of tea so I could feel better. But okay, here's my little makeup routine real quick. I just take, um this like eyebrow pomade what's it called benefit cabral and that's what i fill in my eyebrows with then i like clean them up with some l'oreal concealer i do a little color correcting around my mouth area because it's really like dark around my mouth for some reason but yeah i just take my l'oreal true match foundation and that's what i use to put all over my face then i just like blend that in blend 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 and you know i want to brighten up them under eyes girl and I think at that point, that's when Kenny got there. Kenny's here. Oh no, my yeah. beauty blender fell on the floor. It's recording right now? Yeah. Yo. Wait, where's Chiki? about to have a little Chiki, day come. of shooting. Come, Chiki, hi, we got Chico on the spot. Look at Chiki, look at his backpack. Chiki, say hi, Poo Poo. Chiki's ah! <laughs> here. He's not coming with us, though. He's too old. He can't, like be out for that long and we're probably gonna be out like all day okay let me finish my makeup okay so back to my makeup routine i'm just going to blend out that concealer i use the nars um creamy concealer so and then i want to go in with this white concealer it's just like a la girl um white concealer just to like really really brighten up those under eyes girl and i put it like down my nose like on my little forehead and stuff and you know just blend it out then i'm going to set that and i just use the um oh guys i'm sorry i forget the names of stuff because like i'm so used to like using them every day that i don't remember like the names of them but it's just like a setting powder girl i get that shit at target you already knew and now i'm just adding my contour i like to contour my nose lately just blend it out my finger you know make it snatched 
and now we're gonna throw on some lashes normally i'll do a winged liner but i guess i wasn't feeling it that day like i do like the look of just lashes sometimes so i feel like it's cute so now we're gonna do our lip routine so i just use like a nyx um it's actually an eyebrow pencil i just use that to line my lips and then i blend it out with my finger then i do put um I use the NYX Butter Gloss, but I do put concealer over top of that just to, I don't know, just to give it that perfect, like, neutral look for my skin tone. And then I top that with a clear gloss. So this is actually my favorite part right here is just adding these little beauty marks, like, all over my face. Like, I just use, like, a felt tip liner. And I don't know why. I feel like these are just so cute. Like, it just adds to the look, you know? Okay, guys. So I'm about to do my press-ons. Oh, yeah, my makeup's done, by the way. I'm about to do my press on. So I'm doing this kawaii set. I've worn these before. I don't know about you guys, but I reuse my press ons all the time. So it's just like a little kawaii set. So I thought it would be cute for today. So for the press ons, I'm just gonna take my nail file and like scrape them a little bit so the glue has something to like grip onto. I just take a random nail glue. I don't even know where I got this from, but I just put it in the little press on and then press that shit on, girl like these she lost a tooth yesterday guys he's a little grandpa and he's toothless hi baby oh he's sad why are you sad <coughs> real bad you need, to, you need to stop coughing it's not the way it's, what? Not, it's not getting you any attention either what <laughs> <laughs> are you serious <laughs> okay guys so we're running out the door right now but this is one of my outfits for content day super cute also i did finish my nails yay we're like rushing right now oh now my battery's dying fucking great but i'm gonna just like pack everything into my duffel bag and we have to like go to the post office girl we have a lot going on right now so yeah shout out to janota hair for sponsoring this video so this is how the hair came out. This is how the get ready with me came out. This is how my makeup looks. Um, I have blown my nose like several times. Like literally probably like 20 times already. So my nose is probably like all red and stuff. But yeah, this is the makeup. I like it. I like these like little bushy um lashes and stuff. Bro, <laughs> Bro my battery died. So yeah, I got this little baby tee. I got these jeans, which I like thrifted. And they look like Chrome Hearts jeans, but they not dope. And then I got this Ed Hardy belt. Super cute. And then on the feet, I have my DG boots. Look like this. I just wanted to show you guys because I like it. I think it's cute. So I actually forgot to film an outro. So please enjoy a video of this dog yawning. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.